This is the third time I'm filming this video and I might go insane. I might go insane. Hey there, my name is Lilith and I'm the creator behind fashion art label Zigintala based in Melbourne. Today we're going to be talking about this guy over here, which is the Dragon Trench. Specifically inspiration, meaning, process and everything else behind this hand-painted garment. So I painted this jacket back in 2018 and it was for the purpose of my showcase which was in October and this sort of just symbolizes my stubbornness in trying to veer away from denim and uh, explore other fabrics and other garments such as trench coats. I do love a good trench. I think the garment has a little bit more character to it. It's mysterious, it's powerful. Uh, I've also been watching Friends a lot lately, so even just seeing all the trench coats that they wore in the 90s, I'm here for it. Yeah, I just feel like the trench coat has a little bit more character to it, so when I did decide to paint on it, I wanted to make something that would replicate that sort of grandiose or like magnificence. So obviously I went with a dragon. At the time in 2018, there were a lot of uh, there was a trend emerging in print clothing where a lot of like line stuff, like line drawing dragons or just dragons in general were in a lot of print clothing. So I think I internalized that. But also just because the dragon is a symbol of power and strength, I decided to paint that on this awesome camo trench. So I planned to paint this dragon, but I didn't, but the one sort of push I got that actually made me start this project was I went to a Hokusai exhibition here in Melbourne. And even though there is a famous dragon print, I wasn't necessarily inspired by that. I looked, was looking more at his sketches and just really liked how he conveyed big clusters of repetitive detail to create sort of direction and flow and I really wanted to use something like that in this dragon painting to sort of make the creature come to life. Yeah and I thought that I'd be able to do that and I do do that in this painting. I've got a lot of obviously there are a heap of scales on this painting even just the lines made with the underbelly of the dragon or a lot of the details around its face just this repetition of a shape I think just really sort of gives the painting a bit of depth as you can see we did um i did paint this dragon swerving up sort of in an s style and a loop here and then obviously painting all the scales was quite uh, repetitive uh, but i also had to make sure that they were all slowly moving in the direction of the dragon's body to sort of effectively show that sort of really awesome movement and it was good because I just had a bigger space to paint on obviously because it's a trench coat you've got that long line which gives me more surface area so I did want to use the whole thing and create this repetitive sort of S style all the way down to the bottom here if you can see and just end just before the hem uh, with colors here, obviously we went for, I went for a green, a forest green, but just muted it a little bit just so that it would go, it would keep in the sort of camo theme. I didn't want it to clash too much if the greens were like different tones. And then obviously added a lot of other bright colors just because I think that's just the nature of dragons. They're very vibrant, they're very sort of crazy. Then I sort of unified the whole, pe the whole piece with a lot of gold detailing. Obviously I thought that that would fit this dragon very well. The gold would go with the camo very well. And it would just help highlight all of the details that I put in. Like outlining all of the scales, not only in black but with gold. Outlining all of the head 
details with gold and I didn't do gold on the underbelly. I went with a bronze just so it was a little bit more uh, subtle and didn't take away from the actual scales. And then obviously a little bit of gold through the 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 back the spine fins or the back fins i don't know what they're called um yeah and then we've got uh an, a very, very aggressive face i painted on the dragon eyes are very weird when it comes to painting i find that they give eyes are the life of the painting and i really wanted to make sure that these were very aggressive eyes very much like a lot of sort of guardian dragons that you see in different cultures and even just the way that the face is placed and the way that the dragon is sort of looking over over sort of the shoulder of whoever's wearing it. I like how that sort of symbolises, you know, the dragon is the protector or the dragon is the guardian, especially with these crazy eyes just trying to scare away uh, predators. I mean, for me, when I did paint this jacket, I was thinking my vision was it was going to be worn by someone with... Uh, you know someone that may be intimidating or have like a bit of a reputation and then just having that guardian sort of look on the dragon looking at whoever's behind their back just sort of trying to intimidate anyone that plotting something against against that person i guess i'd really like to play with that idea a lot more with a lot of my other jackets but yeah that's the dragon trench obviously it debuted at my 2018 showcase it also had its runway debut at Melbourne Fashion Week 2019 and since then has also been the subject of a couple of photo shoots as well. I did recently just make a reel on Instagram with this and two other, two other trench coats that I've made and hopefully in the future I'll get to those ones too. But um, yeah, I thought I'd just start off with this one. The original classic trench coat that I painted. Yeah. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you'd like to see more content on painting jackets, how to paint jackets, all of my designs, please make sure to subscribe and I will hopefully see you in the next video.